conversation. Always stay gracious. Best revenge is your paper. Hey girl, hey. Hope you all are having a great day. A great day. Because it is a great day out here. It is very, very gray. Very, looking very sad vibes. And comment down below. Do you notice that every single Thanksgiving, every year Thanksgiving, every single year Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Day is always dreary looking every year. So I just wanted to comment down to um come on really quick to make two points oh gosh i was pulling up to park i'm at lowe's right now lowe's home not lowe's food i'm at lowe's um home because i was watching shoot i forgot who i was watching but um i think it was the shy stripper i think no maybe it was not her no i don't think it was her anyway it's the stripper that is in nursing school she's in nursing school um online no no i don't know i just know she's in nursing school and she was talking about um she had to she thought she had to take the test and then she didn't have to ha take a test she was at work and then she left work early because she thought she had to submit a test anyway long story short she did an apartment tour and i like she had like a, a like a grass like rectangle outside her like on her patio and i was like ooh, that would be perfect for me too because i'm doing my back door patio i'm doing my outback patio and once i get it laid i'm gonna get like the the towel that looks like wood that would look outdoor towel and then i have the grass it's gonna look so good so i'm at lowe's i'm getting one too but point number one when i was pulling up i'm like i wanted to park up front but this car, I seen this white, I think it was an Enclave, a Buick. It don't matter what it was. It was a big SUV. And I'm like driving slow. I'm like, come on, like, hurry up. Like, why are you taking so long to park? And then when I get up close and see who it is, I'm like, oh, grandpa. <laughs> grandpa. A super grandpa, like super, super grandpa. Like, he, you know, like the age spots. He had the age spots and everything. He, he and his little wife. They were super old. Like, this is, I used to be um, a social worker. I used to be in long term care. And I'm like, when do you take the keys from the grandparents? Comment down below. Just because I just feel like it's an accident waiting to happen. He looked like, I don't know if he couldn't see well or what, but he was driving super, super slow. And, he had ample room there's nobody in his way to park so i don't know if he couldn't see or what was going on but grandma and grandpa was in the car driving this big suv and i don't know like I, this is what i never knew like do the kids come and take the keys and like say you can't drive no more but they're independent i don't know like that's a hard conversation to have because you try to take my keys it's gonna be a problem but if you're old and you don't want accidents to happen because okay some years ago somebody hit my car and i was in the car and the guy backed up and then he fl fled off and i called the cops and he left and went home but i had his drivers i had his tag so i just waited at the whole foods in the parking lot and they went and they got this information and he paid me his insurance paid me, but I'm like, do you wait until the elderly have an accident? Do you wait until they hurt themselves or somebody else? Do you fight with them? Like, comment down below. How does this work with the keys and the agent and the driving? Comment down below if you had some experience with this. And then number two, I'm so sad. And when I drive out of here, if they're still there, I'm going to like um, see if I get a, get a little clip of them. But of course, I'm not going to show anybody. I'll blur them out. But there is a whole ass family on the corner. So right now I'm like on Lynn, Lynn Road. And I don't know the cross street, but I, I know like I'm like on Lynn Road. There's like um, a Target. There's a Lowe's. There's a, a Food Lion. There's um, Linwood Grill. There's a movie theater over here. And when you come in, like as you're turning in, there's a mom, there's a dad holding up a sign saying whatever it's saying. I'm sure it's saying like, God bless, please help, we need money. And there's three kids playing in the grass, like not in the grass, but they're like sitting on the little patch of grass and they're just playing on the floor. And I'm like, 
you see like i don't know if they're married or not the husband and wife if they're married or not but like you know there's levels so you know some people like to brag i got a man i got a husband i'm 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 wifed up listen don't nobody want your husband if you gotta be holding up sides like and of course i'm sure the folks bragging is not you know holding up signs kids in the grass you know level i would hope and i would think but there's levels to marriage like there's the hypergamy so where somebody would actually you know want your husband he can provide a life for you and then there's everybody else and for the most part it's everybody else like i just felt so bad like he looked like he was able-bodied. If you could stand up for hours and hours and hours holding up a sign saying, can you give us money? You don't got any skills. You don't have no skills to where somebody will hire you for some work. So you don't have to have your whole family embarrassed. It's not cold today. It's 64 degrees. So it's very warm. I don't, I don't have on a jacket. I just have on a t-shirt. It's nice today. But I'm sure the kids would prefer to be in their home you know playing t um playing with toys or watching tv or reading a book or doing something instead of sitting outside playing in the grass while you're begging strangers that pass by just because there's so many people out right now like shopping for thanksgiving tomorrow and doing like home stuff like i'm in the parking lot of lowe's home and it's packed like it's mad people out here not so packed to where there's no um no parking spots there's ample parking but there's still a whole lot of cars I, let me just show if you can see all those cars back there, there's cars to the front of me, there's cars to the side of me, there's cars to the front of me. Like, there's people out here. Um, there's a lot of cars out here, so everyone, you know, everyone that's leaving, they'll see the family. And some people will feel bad and give money. Some people won't care and not give money. And that's that. But I, I feel like it's very unfortunate. And I don't know if I have a pride thing. No, you know what? Actually, no, I do have a pride thing. I just feel like in this day and age with social media, um, if you have access to the internet, to Wi-Fi, there are so many ways to make a buck to where you don't have to be on the corner, you know, hoping and praying that somebody will give you some money. You can earn some money. Like, you, you don't have any skills. You better get on YouTube and figure out something. You better, you better learn yourself something. I just want to say that real quick. I'm going to go inside here and see if they have my grass patch. Comment down below. What are your thoughts? One about the keys and the grandparents, like the super, super grandparents, you know, that are like, you know, I don't know. How, how do you get the keys from the parents, from the grandparents when they're, you know, really up there and could barely see and could barely drive? Do you wait until they get into an accident until they hurt themselves or somebody else or wreck the car? Or Because that, that's happened too. When I used to work in the um, CCRC, the Continuing Care Retirement Community, somebody had a crash on the property and that's how they had, had to get the keys. Like, I like to be proactive instead of reactive if I can help it. Um, so yeah, that's I'm sure that's always a, a hard conversation to have. And then two, what was the second thing? Well, what are your thoughts about giving out money? That, that was my second um, point. Would you give food or would you give money or um or would you say no the buck stops here there's too listen there's so much access to so much information as to you can you can make you can earn some money if you really wanted to comment down below what are your thoughts i'm gonna go in here i'll be right back um i'm gonna like record these families and of course i'm, I'll, I'm gonna blur them out i'm not gonna show anybody's face if they're still there So this is um, the turf that I was able to purchase. This is um, 12 feet by seven and a half. And you can see how long it is in here and how much space there is. So it's actually quite nice. I can see why I love the vehicle so much.
it looks like the family is still there. Hey girl, I just wanted to do a quick outro really quick because I'm home. I had a great day. Um, I got my little grass, artificial grass turf thing. I'm super excited. I placed the order for my outdoor patio. So it's on order. I just need to contact someone after the holidays to get it installed. I'm super excited. I can't wait. If you look back there, you can see my wall still is not done, but I do have, I do have the um, towel downstairs. I just need my guy to finish up some uh, somebody else's bathroom project to come back to me so my wall could get done. I cannot, <clears throat> I cannot wait. I'm super excited. I just had a bum Hebrew national hot dog. I know hot dogs are not good for you because it's full of like everything, but Hebrew national has like um, their kosher and they have like the better cuts of meat and not just like random odds and ends. And oh my goodness, it was so delicious. So right now I'm just watching Honey Buns on YouTube. She is so funny. Like, if you looking for some good stories, huh? <laughs> she is mad funny. She's talking about, she had a couple different DL story times. And she's got a couple story times about um, working retail. It's so funny. So if you're looking to laugh and like be entertained, because I am not entertaining. But if you're looking to be entertained, check out Honey Bun. She mad funny. She's got great energy. She's pretty good, but I'm feeling like spoiling myself. What don't I feel like spoiling myself? I always feel like spoiling myself. And you see, this is why I can't do 50-50. I can't. Like, if I could do for me, it needs to be natural for anyone that wants to be in my life to want to do for me. It's not, like, it needs to be natural. But, you know... The Roomba is going downstairs. She's cleaning up. The floor is getting clean. So I was like, yeah, you know, I'm doing a good job, you know, by cleaning up. Oh, just finished. Um, my table, I cleaned off my table downstairs. My, um, my, my marble table looks so good. It's so clean. I'm so happy. I'm like, yeah, I did a good job. So I think I want some roses. And I'm not even a rose girl. Like, I don't like roses. But I seen these forever roses. And they last three years. They are, I don't know how they preserve them or what do they, I don't know what they do. But they are real, natural, some sort of preserved roses. And they last a long time. They cost a pretty penny. I will say that. But I just feel like it's worth the money. That if you like the look of flowers, but they, you know, flowers, you, they go bad really quick. And, you know, if you're going to keep replacing them, that's, that's a pretty coin as well. So I'm like, you know what? If I could get some roses that, like, I just want the look, you know, lux, beautiful. Look at it. Look at me. It's beautiful. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me see about these roses and girl. So, so let's, let's just check it out. Yeah, girl, I do be snacking. I do be snacking. So this is what I'm looking at. Look at this. Like how beautiful is this? Let me see. I like I like all of them. Not not this. Maybe for the maybe for like Easter or something, but I really don't like that. I like all three of these colors. Like this is pretty, the coral is pretty, this light red is pretty, but this is really my color. This dark crimson cranberry. Oh yes, look at this. There's some other ones down here. That's whack. 
that's too small that's okay that's cute that's okay that's cute Nah. so yeah I was looking around I either wanted I like this but if really I wanted ivory roses but they don't have I want the dome so I'm up here with it and they don't have this in ivory so like I said it's a pretty penny so without the sale it's $1,500 girl $1,500 but with the sale you say $524 and I'll wind up paying 974. So just keep that in mind. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, let's see if we can get some basic math going. So nine seventy four. 35 divided by 365 and that's just for one year see so when you break it down like that that's only two dollars and sixty some odd cents and that's for one year but like I said they said this is the deluxe dome so this is shoot so small is 200 how much would it cost if it if it let me see oh extra large okay let's just see i ain't about to go here because girl i am on a budget i am on a budget i don't know who lied to you oh baby Oh baby. Okay, so the large one would be 2000 and this is with the discount cuz this is the one I'm ordering. This is with the discount. So 2274 bucks would be the large one with the discount. I'm not on that level. So if I meet somebody really really good that wants to buy me some that would like to buy me the large the extra large dome bouquet i would not be mad at that but yeah i'm just gonna get the small one so like i said um i'm doing the math and for one year that's only two dollars and sixty cents a day to have roses in your house on display looking beautiful looking nice two dollars and sixty cents and i'm i worth two dollars and sixty cents a day of course i am but hold on not even that much because let me see 365 times three equals 1095 so that's three years okay so hold on we're gonna do 974 35 divided by what was that i think it was was it 1074 that's only 90 cents a day girl so like that's what like I say like do be luck um be logical, okay like before you think oh my gosh that's a lot of money, up front yes it is a lot of money but if you think about it ninety cents a day to have a beautiful bouquet of roses in your house for three years three full years 90 cents a day is not bad at all now if it really is not in your budget and you're gonna be struggling then don't do it don't do it but you know if you can afford to spoil yourself i would say yes why not 90 cents a day for three years makes sense and if if not girl Use a bad one. See, see, see who you see who you could um get to to treat you to some nice flowers. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and check on check on out. Let me see. Oh, we're going to express, uh, express payment. I got to go to, um, I'm going to go to PayPal. I don't need nobody hacking my PayPal trying to get into my coins. But, um, that's all I wanted to say. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe when the flowers, buy, um, when the flowers 
uh, arrive. Let me see. When the flowers arri arrive, when they arrive, I will do an unboxing. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Um, subscribe. Good night. Goodbye. And oh, happy Thanksgiving. It's twelve thirty-five um a.m. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.